Hey, I like your jacket. Yeah, it's too bad it's gonna get really dirty today. <laughs> it's a good thing it's in black. Today we're gonna be installing, well, it should have been installed already, but we're putting on low ring springs for the BMW M5, the E60, which is currently not running right now. Yeah. It's currently not running. I mean, that's not a surprise. It's, yeah, it's, it's the broken beamer. We haven't seen this thing, or I haven't seen this thing in a while. It's been for almost two weeks now. Two weeks? For installing the rear ones. And, uh, are, I just want to find out if these springs are legitimately bad or if it's just a more of a job, but what we need to really find out is it's a swap one. Wow, it is super windy. I have a feeling the audio is going to be super bad. Apologies. Oh, From what I remember, I need a 14 millimeter wrench to get to the top three strut tower bolts. I need an 18 millimeter for the bottom shock bolt. Uh, an 18 mil for the sway bar to disconnect it on one side. And I think that's it from what I remember last time. It's actually, it's like four bolts, honestly, putting this thing up. So. I shouldn't be too long. I already have the fucking sway bar disconnected already because I'm so fucking over the last time I went through it. So, let's get to it. So, these are actually the stock front M5 springs and struts. As you do these rears. You're gonna have all these covers in your car and these foam pads at the top of the strut tires, so you gotta take all that off first. And once you kind of bend it out of the way, oh, here's my macro. Hey, like, what the hell? Just looking for that. Once you bend these back like that, you'll see that there's a, the strut tower bolts are up here. Um, they're gonna be a little bit difficult to get to because there's really not that much room, especially this fucking inner one. So you're gonna have to work with a little difficult because I got those last week with my um, a really long Maco ratcheting 14 mil. So I'm hoping I can get to them today. But um, yeah, just 14 mil for those top bolts. 14 mil. Not much to it. Don't forget to connect or disconnect the EDC. You take these out. You don't want to take all three of them out at the same time. You want to leave one still threaded on. So when you take the bottom bolt off, the strut will go flying down and bopping you in the face or something, or breaking or bending something. Mm. I use bolt, do not reuse it. What you didn't see is um, it's actually held up on the knuckle. You're gonna have to push the entire strut towards the car, into the car, and this will pop right out and uh, it'll become loose like that. So the next one you need to also do now is um, you need to loosen this arm back here, which I believe is a 18 and a 21. If I recall correctly, it's really tight up in here. It's the one I'm actually a little worried that I might not be able to get to. It's an 18. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, easiest way to get to that is 18 wrench and 18 ratcheting uh, ratchet. Um, it's gonna be a little difficult to do it without that stuff, so we might have to make a parts run. <laughs> So we got an 18 mil wrench. Any safety tips? Safety tips. Jack up your car safely. Now it comes the really tricky part, especially with these stock ones. They're kind of there's really not much room that you're gonna be working with to get this out. Um, gonna have to kind of pull this, drop it into this little slot, like 
that. You gotta be really careful to get this out without damaging the strut. Got it. Just like that. Oh, it's out. I know why this didn't work. Why? Length of the shock. M5s are different. From this point, which is right there, to here is that long. But from this point, same. The M5 is like a good couple inches longer. That's why it sat on its ass. And if you look, if you put them side by side, that's why it didn't work. From what I've read, these H&R springs from the M6 and the M5, these for the E60 and E63, they're basically the same. So I don't see any problem there. If I were to line them up to this point, it's about an inch and a, about a good inch drop. So I don't think we're gonna have any problems there. So both the rear struts are out now, yep. springs. We gotta go get spring compressors right now. Okay, so we got back from AutoZone. We got some spring compressors. We stopped by Burger King because we were hungry. And then now Alex put on his condom hands. Yeah, so we're gonna compress the springs. Nineteen mil impact. Oh. Save the fries. Um, we're installing the left strut now. That's true. You need two pair of hands for this. Well, it just makes the process easier. I'm basically just grabbing the wire that connects it to this thingy. Okay, so we finally got the first strut in, which took a long time because of those, the bolts up here. That was a bitch. Now I gotta do the same thing to the other side. I just wanna make sure that the, the EDC is not throwing any codes because when I threw in the lowering springs last week and I had to throw in my stock ones, I pinched the connector on accident. So I'm trying to make sure uh, not... You kinda dropped it again. <laughs> yeah, so we got, we got both the struts on. The left side was a bitch. The right side was really easy. Um, but regardless, we got the shit done. Now we're just double checking everything. Bolts are on. Alex is checking for that EDC. Can I say something? Yeah. Go to youtube.com slash Denzel King. This hurts me. No, I'm good. So, does you want to explain what you're doing? What? What you're eating? Oh, two-year-old chips. Uh, yeah, Denzel's eating two-year-old Dorito chips. Like they were sealed, but when he opened it, he said it doesn't taste. They don't. They're not stale. Cause I chased the other chips and they're stale. These aren't stale. Doritos. The chips that never expire. Yeah, as of now, the. Broken beamer is legitimately broken this time. It's been broken. What are you talking about? It's been broken, but this one, it, this time it just it won't start. Oh yeah, this time it's legit. Like, it's yeah. It's. I mean, at least it was moving, but now it's like it won't even. It won't start. Uh. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. Oh shit, it's cold. We'll see how these sit. Um, Alex, how would you rate this install? Uh, probably a hey, guys, 6 out of 10 you. with good tools. 10 out of 10 with really shitty tools like today. I would recommend two people. I mean, it's easier no, to get those bolts in. Yeah. way easier with two people. So oh yeah, that looks good. Foot test. Subscribe. subscribe, comment, and go subscribe to Denzel's channel because it's been. Alright, guys, peace out. You know